All right, so here we have the Toyota Cruise Control actuator. It's uh, laying upside down here so I can get to the back and you can see what's going on inside there. Um, most of the connectors are hooked to the main plug. Uh, right now I am bypassing the limit switches. I'm actually my limits in the software so that uh, theoretically the limit switches will never actually come into play. All that's going through a microcontroller. Um, has a built-in motor control system which is basically an H-bridge. Um, right now all this is be, being controlled through a potentiometer. Um, gets a 5 volt signal and through that the microcontroller reads position. You can see on the graph here as I twist the potentiometer. You can also hear it applying current to the cruise control actuator. Give me a minute to figure out why it just spins. Um, it's I know it's hard to see with this phone, but down inside there you can see the motor shaft uh, just spinning. Um, it's whenever I turn the potentiometer, the uh, PID algorithm is looking for feedback, which is from this potentiometer. It's got three wires coming out of it. It's basically the same thing I have here. Um, it basically gives feedback on the position of the arm. Um, okay. Basically, the reason why it's not uh, working is Toyota added, you can see this, I have it jumped here and here, a uh, basically magnetic clutch system, similar to what you'd find on an AC compressor. So when able to actually get this thing to work, I have to switch 12 volts to that. You'll hear it engage. It makes a click. Uh, now that that's done, I'll rotate the potentiometer. You can hear the clutch engage. And now we've got movement on the throttle which is directly proportionate to the movement of the potentiometer. Um, one thing the PID algorithm will do is if I twist the uh, potentiometer really quick, you'll hear the motor race to catch up. Um, or if I go slow, the motor will go slow. Basically how it's doing this is it's, it's you'll notice the red and the blue lines, which are up at the top now, I know it's hard to see, but as I move the blue, which is the target, what my potentiometer is doing, the red tries to follow. And the difference between the blue and the red is called an error. And uh, basically the algorithm just looks for the error. And the, based on the size of the error, it uses different speeds. All that's set here. And you can see the bottom zigzag um, is actually current in milliamps that is being sent to the motor. Um, it actually acts as a brake when when no change is being made to the position. So as I try to twist the throttle, you'll see that it holds. And as I try to twist the throttle, you'll see the current spike. And that's the motor controller here you know, holding the position of this particular younger. Um, that's about it.